It has been three years since Colleen's sister Bernie passed away from breast cancer, but as anyone who's lost someone will know, you never really get over it, you just learn to live with it. And one of the ways that's helped Colleen and her sisters to move forward is to honour Bernie's memory through a charity event, the Bernie Nolan Ball. And uh, this year's event was particularly poignant for them all because Linda, as you know, was recently discovered that her own cancer had returned. Uh, Colleen's going to talk all about the evening, the family getting together, how it all went and how Linda is in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at an exclusive interview of the sisters as they reflected on everything they've been through as a family. You may notice, actually, not all of them are there, and Colleen will explain why after we watch this. Tonight, the ball should be amazing, shouldn't it? Last year's, it was fantastic, wasn't it? The first oh, that was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. the first one. And then... Um, it was such a tribute to Bernie, wasn't it? It was really important for you to do this, wasn't it? Because you were worried your treatment was going to start and you'd miss this. Yeah. And I'd have been devastated because we're all here. I'd have got to yeah. sit at home, you know, but you would have. But we would have. But we would have. Not that good. Well, if you were going to do any kind of function for Bernie in memory of Bernie every year, this is exactly the function yeah. you would want yeah. to do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it wouldn't be tea. I mean tea. It would be everyone up. Having a good <laughs> yeah, well, time. Let me tell you now, girls, if, if I disappear all of a sudden, there'll be no tea served. From the moment I walk in, I do always feel a bit sad. Yeah. Oh, it's always sad, yeah. Oh, because of what party do we not miss Bernie? I mean, Absolutely, she was Miss Party yeah. Woman, wasn't party. she? And of course, there's photos of her all over the place. And yeah. And it's almost more poignant now because since we've heard your news. Yeah. yeah. So, um... So, in effect, it should all be about me tonight. <laughs> well, yeah. It probably won't be that. <laughs> <laughs> this is your kind of big blowout before Tuesday, isn't it? <clears throat> yes. So what's happening Tuesday, Tuesday again? Tuesday's my radiotherapy starts. I go in on Tuesday at four and I have my first session. We'll get through it. Yeah, you know, we'll get through it. Um, well, I wonder, does it make you more scared? Well, what it makes me is, I mean, they've just been, because Anne had yeah. cancer, obviously, whenever, 10, 10 years ago. 2000. Because she's had it, yeah. to see it come back in some 17 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. And it's it's scary for Anne, yeah, because of now it's come Has back. Anne said that? Or she no, always she? thought it might come back. She? Yeah. I, I just think she was amazing. Bernie was amazing. I'm the You've best. Been... I'm most amazing. <laughs> you were amazing as in brave. <laughs> you hate that word. <laughs> but I don't think I'll be amazing. If I... <laughs> I will scream and shout and throw things and hit well, people. Well, <clears throat> I've, I've wanted to do that, clear the tables and pull the hair out. You know, I've got worms in my head, as you say, sometimes. Yeah. But um, people say you're brave. And the reason that you go, I'm not brave. You have to, no, I was going to say, no, no choice. choice. No yeah. choice. You've got to handle these things with humour, though. I mean, I think we're almost known for that, aren't we? Yeah. Joking I about things. Family do that. Look at Bernie right until the end, really. She's amazing. Oh, amazing. amazing. So funny. Yeah, do you remember when we went to see her? We were sitting on the bed kind mm. of thing, and we started with, oh, we'll sing. We started to sing, and she just went, <laughs> just go, whatever you do, do not sing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let me go out. Yeah, I can't go out and end other song. Being with family is so important, isn't mm. it? Really. Mm. Well, and also carrying on life. Yeah. Because as if yeah. almost as if nothing's goes happened. on, and I think that's something that's really. God forbid, I remember when Bernie died. I remember that first few weeks of seeing people going and oh, shopping. Oh, I wanted to kill and them. And I wanted to stop my car and go, "What are you doing? Bernie's How can died. you just yeah. carry on?" But then I came to the realisation that it just does. But you know what? Tonight's going to be amazing. Yeah, it will be amazing. We'll be at our final. I am loving sitting here chatting. We have to get we ready. We have to do something with this time. <laughs> yeah. And we're running <laughs> out of hours. I'm, I'm turning my back to this camera. Probably <laughs> best. But that one's caught you. So. Oh, oh. Too late. But so um, um, here's to tonight. Yes. yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my dears. <laughs> Won't be tea tonight. Be fabulous. <laughs> Rather well, and Linda is now taking us to the ball. Indeed, I am. Cinderella and her ugly sister. Oh! We miss her so much, and, and when we see pictures and you know with her daughter and we see, we just, we just, we've never, we'll never get 
Sweet, isn't it? Because they're all those people raising money for, for Bernie's foundation, mm. and, and so you want to celebrate her life, mm. but then it brings it all back. I as think, well. uh, yes, and I think what happens is the rest of the year, you, like I said, life does go on and you have to carry on, and, and Bernie would want you to, but it's at that ball, there's just pictures of her everywhere, and then um, Steve did, her husband did this fantastic. Um, it's called the Song of Bernadette, actually, which is a beautiful. I mean, Music it was like it was written for her, yeah. you know, and it's actually that's the title of it. So it wasn't written for her, but it's just amazing. And then he put all the pictures up of her when Erin was a baby, and, and that's why we're all crying. And it's in those moments that it hits you where you go, I just can't believe she's not here. Yeah. And also at a function like that, because Bernie was the party animal of the family. Yeah. Any excuse to have a vodka, <laughs> <laughs> Bernie was there, yeah. you know. And then again, even more poignant because of Linda. You know, yeah, who was sitting there as well and hosted it. I mean, yeah, amazing. Amazing. it was over two days that we had a, Fried, a, a, a function on the Friday and then the big ball on the on the Saturday. And what's lovely is the whole family. You know, my brothers, my other um, uh, Anne was there. And the, uh, she missed the interview bit because of the Friday because she was very hungover. <laughs> <laughs> and she just sent a message going, "I cannot get out of bed." <laughs> Denise wasn't there. No, but she, she, was, but she was sent this message. Oh. Hi everyone, I was really, really sorry that Tom and I couldn't make the ball this year due to unforeseen circumstances. We had a fantastic night last year and again this year everybody was talking about what a great night they had. They raised lots of lovely money and thank you for being so lovely to my whole family, particularly Linda. Thank you. Bye. She was good, thank you. Also, you, that phrase that Linda used about worms in one her yeah. hair, which is an amazing um, mm. phrase, but... Do you ever get worms in your head about your health? Um, oh, well, I've been known to get worms in my head from the age of five. <laughs> to be honest, that's where it came from, because yeah. Warren used to go, get the worms out of your head when I got irritable. Yes, obviously, yeah. you worry about it. You know, that's three sisters mm. yeah. that have had cancer. And um, How often do you get checked? Um, oh, well, I'm quite obsessive about checking myself, like every time I'm in the shower or looking in the mirror. Um, and then every six months I go and see a specialist. Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're, we're all clued up on it. Um, now, to um, Linda, mm. which we said there she's started her radiotherapy. Mm. I said chemotherapy earlier. Sorry, I got that wrong. It's radiotherapy, mm. isn't it, on Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. So how is she? How's she's that going? She's incredible. Um, yeah, she started it on Tuesday. She's having radiotherapy every day now for two weeks, along with all different tablets and injections into her stomach and stuff like that. But, you know, I found her yesterday and she put, sorry, I didn't get back to you, finished radiotherapy, went for lunch... <laughs> Always thinking of a stomach, um, my kind of girl. Um, so, you know, Linda, she's just, she's feisty. And, and again, you know, she constantly, constantly plays the cancer card. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's actually got a card that says, I have cancer. And every time I mention anything, she goes, I've got cancer there. <laughs> Don't we all know, Linda? Humor's a good thing. Humor yeah. gets us through yeah. it. All we need to see that with all of you. Yeah. There's that Nolan humour, isn't it? The one yeah. line. And people that don't get it go, it's a bit harsh. Yeah. You know? um, but no, we do, and it, and it was a great night, and thanks to Liz Emma, who, who was one of the people when Bernie died, who said she was going to do something. Everyone says it, meaning well, and they're all lovely, but no one actually does. But Liz did. did. Well done, Liz. It yeah. looked like a great night. Yeah. 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 And, um, we obviously wish Linda well with, with her treatment oh, as well. Oh, she'll be back here. She'll be back. Yeah. We'll, be back. Yeah. we'll be back too, right after this. Yeah.